Shalom, chaverim. It's Rubisa. Now, yesterday we spoke about going on a tiyul, and we enjoyed Piggy and Gerald doing it. And I told you that we are going to go on a pretend tiyul all the way to Israel, all the way to Yisrael. So, what do we need for our tiyul? Hmm, let's see. I think Gerald had some good advice for what you need for a tiyul. So first, he says, we need a plan. And we, over the next few days, are going to make our plan to make sure that we're ready for our tiyul. Now, the first thing he says we need is a map. Behind me on the wall, I have kind of a map from Israel. I'll work on getting a better one soon. But the map is going to tell us where we're going to go. We need to know. What are we going to see? What are we going to learn about? What are we gonna do? That is all part of our plan. All right, we got the map. We'll get a better one soon. And then, oh, it might be sunny. Now, what do you think? Is it gonna be sunny in Israel? I think it is gonna be sunny in Israel, but don't worry, I have sunglasses. Rubisa kind of always has sunglasses on her head. All right, we got our sunglasses. We are ready for the tiul. Sunglasses in Hebrew is Mishkafe Shemesh. So I've got my Mishkafe Shemesh ready to go. I got my map. Then Gerald says we might need an umbrella. Guess what? We do not need an umbrella. It is not going to rain in Israel. Now, how could I know if it's going to rain? Only Hashem knows when it's going to rain, right? But in our Tifirah, we used to say, before Pesach, we would say, Hashem, make it rain in Israel. And guess what? Hashem listens to our tefillot. And most of the time, it would rain in Israel when it needed to. But now, after Pesach, we do not say, Hashem, make it rain in Israel. And it mostly, mostly does not rain in Israel. So, we do not need a mitria, an umbrella, to go to Israel. All right, what else is needed for our plan? We need suitcases. We need a bag. So I've got a bag. You probably have a bag. And as we get ready for our teal, we're going to put things in our bag. It could be a backpack. could be just um, a store bag. Whatever bag you've got to collect your things for going on our teal. And... Then they worry because they don't have a car. Do we need a car to go on our teal? No, we do not. We're going to go in a matos, in an airplane. Do we really need one? No, but I know that you are experts in making a matos to travel in. So as we get ready for a teal, you can think about making a place that is your matos. Maybe your chair. Whatever you're going to make your matos out of, it's your matos. And, well... In the attachments down below, I have three different things for you to work on to be ready for our teal. One, we need a plan of what we need in our suitcase. So there's a picture of a suitcase and you're gonna draw on it the things you need. Maybe you need your swim costume, your swimsuit, or your t-shirt, or your shoes, or your stuffies. You can draw all the things that you want to have on your teal to Israel inside of your suitcase. So that's page one. Page two, whenever you travel out of the country, you need a darkon, a passport. So you're going to make your own darkon, your own passport. On one part of it, you draw a picture of you. Well, not me, Rubisa. You with your fantastic face. You're going to draw that on. And on the other part, you're going to put your name and your, at your birthday. All right? You're going to write that on. That's going to be your passport. You're going to make it beautiful and ready to go. And the third thing you need are luggage tags. So there are luggage tags for you to print out and cut out and work really hard on getting those scissors to go online with the guiding hand and the holding hand. Snip, 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 snip. And then you're going to write your name on your luggage tags. So those are the three things that you have today to get ready for our teal. And then we'll meet back in and plan some more to go on our teal to Eretz Yisrael. Shalom, chaverim.